Hello, this is Jason the Moonlight King here, and this is Bloodlust Shadow Hunter again, except this time I'm actually alone. This is going to be my playthrough, or my, my guess, my gameplay of uh, this game. Uh, I don't know if anyone else is going to do some. I'm going to do some, because I like this game. It's pretty good. It's pretty cool. Determines chance for hit. Put two points into that. One into string, just so I have an even 20. Two into vitality. What? It was like counting up. Wait. Alright, so it seems like vitality is, uh, or health increases it by three, or vitality increases it by three. If you want more dialogue option, nope, 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 I am not conversable. That, okay, that was a thing I just said. And we're gonna be a Dampier, because Dampier are cool, but they seem to have worse stats. What's up with that? Are half human and not as strong as both vampires. They do not need to drink as much blood and have some resistance to light and fire. Alright, you know what? I'm cool with that. I'm, I'm fine with that. Let's put three in, so I have 20. They do have better dexterity, though. And I'm gonna put vitality. Um, yeah, you, I, no story for me. It's all... The, that's pretty cool. They do have some fire and light resistance, so they're pretty good. They're pretty good. And one level one iron aura available bite and then vampiric gaze. Alright, well, let's just go ahead and start. I probably will be quiet for the cutscene. I don't know how loud the game is for you guys. Hope it's fine. I have a gummy worm. Wake up, fledgling. The early evening's dusk fades from view as a new moon rises. Your memory is probably very weak since it's been many years of deep slumber from the embrace. But with each new bloodline, you will grow stronger. Meet me at the tattoo shop back in town. I will explain everything there. I've asked Varric to watch over you through these long years. Seek him out, Seek him out should you need any guidance from the ruins. Okay, well that was, uh... All you really know. No, we're not gonna do that. Because you know what? I'm good at games. Oh, I already have my knife. My little piddly knife. Oh yeah, well, that's right. Press left one. Go away. Uh, go away. I know how to play games. Saving Jason. Thank you for saving me. Uh, how do you... That is, that is a roll. Baboon! Baboon! Uh, just open up inventory, because I don't know what... It's K. Alright, so there's Frenzy, which supernatural attack speed all up and speeds are twice as fast. Or Spirit Summon. Which, last time I did Spirit Summon, and you know what? Spirit Summon was pretty cool, but it took a lot of mana. So... Every time I roll, I don't know, just like every time I roll over these, it's like, yeah. Um. I don't really want that. But for my strategy. For my strategy, I'm gonna go with Spirit Summon. It just works better for me. 
Actually, like, what are all these current available? Alright, so these are all the spells you can actually get. Bloodline required for. I wonder if that means level required. Oh! Alright, and here's that guy they were Welcome talking about. Fletchley. How is your sleep? Gummy worm. His mouth is shut. Or something. Soon shut. My name is Badok. I am the caretaker here in the ruins. I can see you are a little confused, no? Quite normal in these circumstances. Side effects from the bite, perhaps. You are no longer mortal, I'm afraid. Yeah. Your blood has been tainted with the bite from a night feeder. I'm a vampire Not now. Exactly yet. Only a fledgling, but on your way. You will need to feed and grow your bloodline if you are to survive here in the ruins. You have been exiled here in the ruins. In the ruins. Not graveyard and not ancient past. Someone obviously either doesn't like you, or that you will need to learn to quit here. Yeah, the creatures found here are not as friendly as me. You will need to gain experience and learn your new skills quickly. First skill will be to bite. You will need to Why? victims to survive. Bye. Suit yourself. Make sure you don't drain them dry and they will be fine. But I warn you, you will be tempted to go by in the statue of the ancients. The spirit will guide your path. Not enough persuasion. Oh, that's fine. Also see sick. Alright, I'm not gonna go that way. Alright, so let's see. What's this way lead to on the map? It leads to Let's go to the Wolves Den. You know what I like the Wolves Den. Sense a wolf nearby. Well, so far the wolves then did not lie. Haha. -ha. Pressing F1 saves the game. Also, once you're familiar, really? Why F1 and not F5? I don't know. Can I, can I, is there a thing over here? What if I... Alright, so that's outside of the level, I'm assuming. Not inside. That would be a cool secret if you could, like, activate a switch that would do something. Who are you? Hey, Machia. Whoa. Sleeping Beauty is finally awake. You know no, me. No, not really. But I did see you sleeping earlier when I took a peek inside your Alright, because you know that would usually Sorry, what Sorry, but I was searching for blood fragments, and that's usually what you find inside dead vampire coffins. Didn't find any, but I did notice a few items next to your coffin. I didn't touch him, though, but I was... Oh, man! You must have been asleep a long time. Blood fragments are very, very valuable. Just be glad you didn't have one for me to steal, huh? <laughs> oh, I'm just waiting for those wolves to go away. One of them tore up my leg pretty bad. Man, once they lock on, they just don't let up. I even lost the full bag of blood jewels while trying to escape those creatures. Which reminds me. If you happen to find a bag of jewels, really? I'm oh. bring it back All right. Hey, thanks. Also, if you need any lockpicks or keys, you might want to find Sarah. Alright, where, where is Sarah? So it appears on my... On my left, there's like apparently a passageway, but I don't see it. I don't know, is there a secret I'm missing? More than likely. Alright, well, we're just going to ignore that for now. Can't go that way. So we might as well go this way and bite this guy. Positioning for best bite. There we go. 25 units of blood. I don't know what the units are, but... Yeah! Wow! All right, you want to play rough? I'll show you rush. Whoopsie. All right, you want to play like this? What happened? Alright, well 
I'm just gonna wait here. Damn it! Okay, well this this ghost is a little bit overpowered. Not exactly. I wonder if they patch the thing. I used to be able to do this quite well. But it seems to be not nearly as a f Can I even swing? Alright, there we go. Alright, does not seem to be as effective. Either that or it just doesn't work as well at a uh, lower level. I wanted to sit here and heal, aren't I? I guess so. What's the thing I got? Oh yeah, I probably should bring these. Useful to have. I'm gonna move my money down there. I'll put those over there, I guess. You know, item organization, gotta have that. Okay, well. You can do that. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Alright, then we gotta look at this. Is that that's a fragment? Don't know what it does. But it is a fragment of something. Can you hear me? Think no, no, don't worry. Totally normal. This is just another thing that happens. Especially to me. Oh, those are blood fragments. Okay. They're apparently valuable, but... Combat roll. How do you switch? Oh, yeah, Z. Yeah, let's go find loot, I guess. That sounds fine by my standards. Oh, spiders! Ah, I gained a level. Aha, I'm even stronger than I remembered. Oh, what? Oh, someone's leaving things for me. You better stop that. I don't want new stuff. Stuff is for the week. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Dominate. Mind control. Control enemy minds to attack other enemies. That really only works when there's a lot of enemies. And I don't, early on, I don't seem to fight a lot of enemies. That for Okay, well that like triples the requirement, but it does one more damage. I think I'll try Frenzy. Dead. Also, can I move Bite somewhere else? Press Shift to move from Hotball. Or... Oh, wait, where's the lock icon? Alright, I'm gonna put this over here, actually. Because it's something I'm not going to use too often. Like these, those things I'm probably not going to use as often as other stuff. Spirit Summon I'm probably going to use less often. Uh, let's just move these two to the left, and that should be good. All right, well that's. That is nice. Got a switch here. Got a thing I can't pick. Let me find some loot. Something is triggered. Well, uh, I would assume so. Aha! Bam! Blood ring taken. Alright, well, let's check out this blood ring. Unidentified. Can't equip it. Uh, that's kind of a bummer. I always like equipping. I've already said that, but I'll say it again. 
people always like to unequip or equipping identified items. So. Alright, let me just go ahead and move this over and out. Go ahead and lock it as well. Backup saved. I don't know what that means, but I saved the backup. I wonder what Walter's doing. That is a back quest. What are you doing, Walter? Issued. Find loot. I don't, I don't know. He's. I hope he's finding some loot. That would be pretty cool. Alright, I'll enter the dungeon in a second. I just kind of want to see what's over here. Sent a zombie. Oh! Ow! Oh, he, he exploded. Yeah, that tends to happen to me when I'm on a bad day. Just, you know, sometimes you can't handle it. Maximum crows enabled. Got an elixir. I think that's a healing item. Yeah, it's just a Let's Play, I guess. This is uh, different from the Let's Explore, because Let's Explore Indies is trying to test out games and see which ones are not shite. And this one's pretty good, so I decided to do a Let's Play on it. It's sort of the same thing that happened with uh, the other game. Haha, -ha, Shadow Spawn, Shadow Dead. Probably should keep an eye on my health. I hope I can disarm this trap. I did. Alright, got another flashlight, which only has 2% battery for some weird reason. I don't understand why I'd want it, that, but I have it now, so there we go. I remember this. This is a, uh, this is a battle royale type area. It's sort of weird in my opinion. I don't know how it works. I'm not gonna enter it because it's kind of difficult. All right, well let's enter the dungeon. Cause why not? Dungeons are pretty cool. Press, make sure to press the F1 key to play or Jason. I don't know why, but the way they they have that stuff in the bottom left sort of makes me think it's gonna be multiplayer. I don't know. It might, it might not be, and might be might be delusional. But it sort of seems that way. Hopefully I find a better knife. Or not a knife. You know, that'd be pretty cool. Zombie bashes floor. Don't be so upset, zombie. There we go. Take life force. Well, I didn't want to take that, but... Since they're offering it to me, I guess so. Alright, so I can only have one crow, so it's me and my crow buddy. Okay, well, that that's a pretty cool skill. This looks like a thing. It isn't a thing. That's kind of annoying how it just like your flashlight's off, turn it back on. Meow. That's kind of cool, but I, I prefer to fight. Um, well, if I can only have one out, period. Wait, talents. Oh, yeah. I forgot. The, uh, the, the creator of the game told us about those, and I completely forgot about them. All right, so I need to remember to do that. Um... Well, that'd be good if I do get into a battle royale type situation. Alright, so let's check this stuff out. Knives do 5% more damage. Can't say I'm gonna... Plus 1% life point, life force. Plus 1 strength with each new level. That's actually pretty gonna be pretty good. 5% increase, that's pretty good as well. Monkey fist. Path of the ninja, self detected distance increased. Damage increased while full health. 2% faster. I'm just looking at the various stuff. Faster crossbow. Alright, so this seems to be like the crossbow. This is sort of like the, uh... I'm gonna go in that. That's that's pretty cool. Oh, okay. So you can randomly get talent points based on intelligence. Alright, so that's... That's a thing. 